Hello Aries, welcome to your January 2023 reading. This reading will resonate with you if you have Aries placement in Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is supposed to be an intimate reading. I do not have any intention other than I will be asking Spirit to guide me and allow me to receive whatever messages that you need to hear right now. This could pertain to your love life, to your professional life, to your family life. I don't know yet. So with that intention out, let's get to your cards. I will be publishing this reading both on my TikTok as well as on my YouTube. You can watch it whichever platform is convenient for you. I'm using two decks, one Oracle deck and one Tarot deck. So I am currently shuffling the Oracle deck to get an overview of what energies are coming towards you for the month of January 2023. Spirit, can I get a sense of what's coming towards my Aries Collective for 2023? So you've got quite a few cards. You've got three, uh, four cards. Your first card is number three. It says action, nettle. And there is a snake there. All right, let's put it here. Your next card is tobacco, 24. That reduces to six. It says offering. These are interesting keywords. We'll get to it momentarily. And then your third card is elder, 28 re reduces to 10. These could be significant numbers, by the way, Aries. And it says wisdom. All right. And your final card is 38. That's number 11. And it says intuition. So that's an interesting uh, progression. So you have, I'm just going to move this out of the side. I think you have a good view of all the cards. I want to make sure. All right, that should be good enough. Um, so it's an interesting, interesting progression. So you have three, six, ten, and eleven. You have action, offering, wisdom, and intuition. And look at this. Just as I looked at the bottom of the deck, it's another eleven card, and it says beloved. So I would like to take this card. Because I think this card does have a significant impact in January. And I will be clarifying these cards momentarily with the tarot deck. I just want to make sure that you are, you can see all the cards and that my ring light is not blurring. All right. So this is what I'm seeing. There's somebody in your life with the wisdom card, who's going to offer you some really good advice pertaining to a, a relationship that you're currently in. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, although I think for the majority of you, this is a romantic connection that you're dealing with. It's your beloved. Number 11 showed up twice. This individual, this wise person in your life, could be an elderly person, could be somebody that, that you listen to. And this individual, now this could be your spirit guide too, because I have the intuition card as well. This individual, if this is a real person, if this is your spirit guide, either way, they're asking you to listen to your intuition before you take any action. Because I will say this to you, my darling Aries, that there are people around you and your beloved, because this card says beloved, there are people around you and your beloved who really don't want this connection to come together as represented by the snake. And they're literally, usually I don't read snake as the conventional snake because snake is a very reared, uh, reared, rev revered animal in most culture. But in this case, I think there are oppositions and there are individuals around the two of you, you and your beloved, who really don't want this connection to come together. 
So there is an individual in your life who is providing you with tremendous wisdom and you really need to listen to your intuition and listen to their wisdom to go about this connection that you have with your beloved. All right, all that said, let's take some tarot cards because I really want to get into this now. So let's take some tarot cards. Spirit, can you clarify the cards that are already on the board? Can you clarify the cards that are already on the board? Can you clarify the cards that are already on the board? I want to take one more card. Oh, that's too many, Spirit. Can I get one more card? Can you clarify the cards that are already on the board? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So the cards you got... It's just confirming. So the five of cups. So you and your beloved is in separation right now, whoever this beloved is. And you think that this connection is absolutely over. It's interesting for me because most five of cups depiction is you have three cups spilled and two cups standing. But in this case, there's only one cup standing. So I wonder, I wonder if you're the only person who thinks that this connection is over. All right. You have the three of swords. Oh, you're heartbroken. No doubt about that. And I think that's where your this wise person will come into play. And like I said, there are individuals around you, surrounding the two of you, that are playing a really nasty game. With the nine of wands, look at this. Oh my God, you're wounded. This is the wounded warrior. You're absolutely wounded. You're absolutely on the last leg of this, this cycle. And you're too much in your head, right? And I also think this individual, because King of Swords is somebody who's very wise and intelligent. And I think the person who's going to give you the advice to, to take on action towards your person and I, I'll tell you why I'm seeing action is has been clarified again by the chariot so you could be cancer your person could be cancer the person who's going to provide you advice could be an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius take what resonates my darling with the cancer card there's movement there's absolutely movement towards your beloved. With the Cancer card, I cannot emphasize this enough. There is movement, but this movement is very targeted. And this is all, this whole reading is now coming together. This movement is very, very targeted. This movement is strategic. This movement will allow you to overcome and to silence those people that are against this connection. This movement or this momentum is taking hold because now you have somebody very wise on your side. And at the bottom of that tarot deck that I just used, you have the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Hanged Man, the Three of Wands and the Magician. So listen, I'm going to take these cards. Oh, also the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay, so very quickly, Ten of Cups, magician the three of wands you've been waiting for this this happiness to manifest for the longest time but you were tied up that snake could be somebody in your life who tied you up could be a third party it could play out the other way around but there is tremendous fortune the will of fortune is turning in your favor as far as this connection is concerned. So I don't know whether this snake is on your side or on the other side. But what I'm seeing and what I'm saying to you is that there's a wise person, a Gemini Libra Aquarius, who's going to bring tremendous wisdom in this connection, will guide you to take the right action towards your beloved. And you and your beloved will be, if I can show you this as a final word, look at that. The two of Two of you will be showered by divine love. That's your reading, my darling. Let me know in the comment section how it resonated. If it did, leave me a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe or follow my channel. Until next month, 
Take very good care of yourself. Bye now.